Rafi Mediavía de Critic Los continuamos aquí en Epicon 2018 y ahora mismo tengo con la persona más importante de este evento, el artista Rick, to, to, el artista Tom Wood, right? Yes, Tom Wood. Tom Wood. Why, but why she's the most important artist in here? I'm going to show you. Wait, wait. She is the creator of this, this drawing for this, the, the official teacher of the event. And that's why I want to talk to him. Tom. Yes, sir. Tell me about the inspiration about the, uh, for, for, this, for this drawing for the teacher. Well, when Epicon asked me to come to, to the event, uh, Carlos, who, was a, uh, who I met in Chicago Wizard World, was a big fan of my artwork. And he loved the fantasy st uh, stuff. And he knew that I had done stuff more uh done fantasy i've done science fiction and horror artwork so he wanted me to use several of my pieces to make a, a collage for the epicon logo this year what um do you, i mean i've seen some all of your stuff is fantasy and i just all of your different drawings are all fantasy um when you when you prepare uh, the, when, you're, when you're starting a different a new project how do you how do you prepare yourself Well, it depends. If it's something that's really sinister, I usually try to isolate myself a little bit and try to get in the mindset of something dark and creepy and try to draw something that actually scares me. And if it could scare me with, my, with this imagination, then hopefully it could scare other people. Well, there are different drawings. You've got so many drawings in here. But, I mean, you've got a whole row of drawings. Which one is the one, the one that people that look, look for it the most? Uh, I would say the one that really struck a chord with most people is is this phoenix. This is my best-selling painting that I've ever done. Probably sold two million copies of it worldwide over the past seven years. And uh, it's one of the simplest paintings that I've done. I, ones like this took me This took me two weeks to do. And uh, it's a fantastic piece. I'm very proud of it. But this piece took me a little over a day to do, to, full, to, to complete. But it's, for some reason, it really struck a nerve with some people, and they just love it. Um, what type of materials do you use? I mean, wh how, how's the whole process of, of, of doing your, your painting? The process starts when um, I, all, I do it all with pencils and paper. I draw it all, sketch it all out, and then I'll, sometimes I airbrush it on, a, on an illustration board, or I scan it in the computer, and I can digitally airbrush it now on, on the computer screen. So either one of those two. Do you do it all, all by okay, There's no technology involved in here or do everything by hand? Everything's by hand. There's no filters or computer 3D programs. It's all done by by eye and in practice. Besides in here, besides here, where other where other where other, where other places are you present yourself? Uh, you'll see me at uh, I do Dragon Con in Atlanta, uh, Chicago Wizard World, uh, sometimes MegaCon or Gen Con in uh, in Ohio. So there's several shows that are larger shows that I like to go to. When by, when can people find your stuff and when can when they can find you online? Well, you can find any of this artwork on uh, my website at www.tomwoodfantasyart.com. Or you can find me on Instagram or Facebook and Twitter. Tom, thank you for the interview. Thank oh, you for your, for your time. It's been a pleasure. Gracias. Gracias. Seguimos.